Good afternoon, my YouTube niece. Welcome back to the One Woman Show with part two of knowing when to take a mental break. But first, I must say, I am not a doctor. I am not a therapist. I am not a psychiatrist. If you are seeing one of these physicians, please listen to them and take their advice first. Now, we left off on just say no. It's okay to say no. Most of us struggle with that word. I know a few people that tell you no with no chaser. They don't care how you take it. <laughs> they just know how to say no. But a lot of us struggle with that word. If you truly unable and unwillingly to say yes, it's okay to say no. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. I also wanted to tell you treat yourself. It's very important that we do that. Go shopping. Buy that outfit you've been wanting to buy yourself. Don't deny yourself from that outfit or from makeup or shoes or whatever it is that you wanted to buy. Go ahead and buy that. Another topic I wanted to touch on that I think we all could stay away from, no matter if you're going through a mental breakdown or you just been, you know, going through everyday life. But mainly when you're going through a mental breakdown, negativity. Remove yourself from negative, even if it means those you love. You can always re-engage with them some other time. You know, don't sit here and be trying to please them because you think they're going to say something about you negative. Like I said, negative. <laughs> because you're not hanging with them and you don't want to be around them that day. Mm -mm. Don't do that. And another thing I found that messes us all up holding grudges let go of grudges what is done is done no need to cry over spilt milk or spoiled milk whatever the phrase is but you get what i'm saying it's a waste of time and a waste of energy so please 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 guys stay away from grudges don't keep them smile do you know it takes more muscles to make a frown than to make a smile. And smiling is free. God gave it to you. Use it. Yes. And another thing I think that helps. Act of kindness. Do something kind for someone. That always make me feel better. Because sometimes kindness starts with you. The kinder you are, the better you feel about yourself. That is true. And another thing you can also do, send someone a love message. Yeah, you know, text your honey. Text your friend. Uh, you know, if you text your friend a love message, let them know, hey, I love you. You know, it's something positive, you know. And if you're texting your partner or your wife or your husband a message, you can get as steamy as you want with that. <laughs> I do. And when I get that text back, that makes me feel important. And it makes me feel loved. Sometimes we just need a good old reminder of the things just to be thankful for. That's all I'm saying. And another thing that I want to get into is writing affirmations. I think I'm saying that word right. Sometimes writing down our thoughts could be an emotional release. Like, when I say writing down affirmations, something like, I'm smart, I'm kind, I'm beautiful, you know, you get it, I'm brave, you know, those things that we write them down and we look at them over and over and say those things, hey, <laughs> that's a great way to, um, you know, get yourself back into the mental state but the key is getting yourself back in a mental place where you're able to function and become one within yourself that is the key relaxation and you know stop being restless i mentioned that in uh the part one of this knowing when to take a mental break i mentioned that 
going from restless to relaxed, that's very, very, very important. You know, you need to do those things. And um, like I said, you first, you know, take care of yourself. You have to. And if you do have to be in a place where you're depressed, don't stay there long. Please don't stay there long. It's not a good place to be at. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to to be that way. We're human. Everybody get upset. But don't stay in that head space. Um, Like I said, you guys, this one is a very short one because I did cover a lot of things in part one. So please check out part one. If you just skip me down to part two, go back and check out part one and then come back and listen to part two i'm quite sure you will enjoy it and once again like i said i'm hope i'm able to help someone out there with their problems well you know at least help somebody relax a little bit and get their mind back in the right state um let's see am i covering everything oh and If you got something you want me to talk about as far as helping someone, um, leave it in the comment. I'll read it. I'll get on it. And I'll also let them know um, who gave me the idea. If you don't want nobody to know, then that's fine as well. But the key is to try to get as many people as we can help. So the more people listen, the more people share the more people can get this information and get the help they need all right i'm hoping that i covered everything that i wanted to from saying no from treating yourself from negativity from grudges from act of kindness uh yeah i think we covered the basics all right you guys once again i love you and god bless you god bless each and every one of you and please be safe out here in this world the holidays is among us you know that crime rate goes up (laughs) please be careful and with that said please 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 click like share and subscribe and hit that bell to turn on your notifications so you can tune in to my next podcast video thank you guys very much i love you i love you i love you and god bless you all bye